Okay, Bob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to do Taylor posterior glide. So we're going to increase dorsiflexion. We're going to do two different ways. The first way we're just going to grab onto the, um, we're going to grab onto the tib fib, and we're going to grab onto the talus, and we're going to do a glide into a plantar direction. That's a typical. What I want to add to it, we also can add the component of rotation. So we can actually grab onto the calcaneus, we can glide it as we do a rotation. So there's two different ways, and I'll show it to you as we go through. So number one, we would do our ankle dorsiflexion range of motion, end range, right? It has a blocky feeling. Then we want to see if we can mobilize it. So as I come through here, the first technique, sometimes I'll put a towel beneath here so we don't bother his Achilles. The first technique is just to come through here, grab onto the distal tib fib, grab onto the talus through here. We can have that in a nice comfortable position, not quite, we can either go in a neutral position or more dorsiflexion position. We'll start more neutral. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing a glide. I'm holding through here. This guy, I'm taking up the slack and I'm just doing a posterior glide of the talus going straight backwards. Okay, that's one way. The other way I like a little bit better is to, I could have my, this hand now, my right hand is on the talus, this hand's on the calcaneus, and what I'm doing is I'm now going to glide as I do it. I'll keep it out of the way of the camera, but it'll be more here, but I'll show it to you this way. As I come up, I would do the glide, and as I do it, I'm going to do the rotation component of the talus as it goes backwards. So it looks like this. So the talus is here. I have the calcaneus. I just take it, and I'm taking the glide. This theory, I'm pushing this talus backwards. There's the posterior glide. There's a little bit of the rotation that goes with it. So we can go to end range. We can hold it. We can go to end range, and we can oscillate. And come back. And again, the key as always is to do retest. So we have them bring your ankle up, see how we do with that. We can do a functional test as well, or a test against the wall to see if he has enough dorsiflexion. Okay. Good technique for a posterior glide of the talus. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.